All right, here it is, the LG NanoCell. I'm gonna turn it on with the nice magic remote. Bloop. So this is just normal TV. Checking out normal TV. Everything looks perfectly fine, right? Nothing very spectacular or anything. Nice crispy images. Looks perfectly fine, right? For normal TV, things are looking pretty fine. Let's check out Netflix real quick. So. Looks perfectly fine as well. Not going to look too long at this image because of copyright things, right? And this is YouTube right now. As you see, everything is pretty fast. I like it, very snappy without no hesitations. And this right here is a 8K HDR 10 footage to see how everything is looking. Gonna turn off this light. I think this gives you a little bit of a better picture, maybe. So, my camera is now set on ISO 400. So, it might be a little bit on the bright side from time to time. So, keep that in mind. Um, but I'm not sure if you can see it now on camera, but in real life the blacks are not black and the overall screen is not black at all. Right. The sound is pretty nice. So I'm gonna turn on the Xbox Series S that is. And you can also see the image quality real quickly. Um, with the Xbox Series S on this 65 inch nano cell. So, Dirt 5. As you see, things are looking pretty okay. This is not the best looking game at all. Uh, I think I also set it right now on 120 hertz, so 120 frames per second. Sound is pretty decent. Let's switch to a different game quickly. Forza Horizon. Gonna turn down the audio just a little bit because a little bit on the loud side. And this is now Forza Horizon 4. And should be working quite fine now, right? Here we go. And the screen might be flickering right now. I think it's flickering, yeah. But the, there was a little bit of a downside when I played this game in particular. And that was that this game showed quite some vertical banding thingies. I'm not sure if you can see it right now on camera, by the way. Mm, I don't think we can see it right now, but let's switch to a different game. Maybe Gears 5. But in general, this is a okay screen. It's not the best. It can do quite some things, right? It has all the features, has all the stuff. But on a lower budget, don't expect the top premium quality. But you can expect some good quality. You can definitely enjoy this TV. That is totally possible. But if you are very critical like me, like very demanding like myself uh, this is a good screen right now that you can see the uniformity of the screen that things are not really black black um, let's see if we can jump in straight away I think I, I locked out so as I mentioned this is not the best screen but still very enjoyable to play with what the crap is that Mm. 
like a shrimp or something. Damn. So I'm gonna go to the settings just to show you quickly what I'm working with right now. So I have it now on 4K, 120Hz, and this TV supports 4K, 60Hz, 120Hz, it supports all those things, HDR, blah blah blah. Here it says that the TV does not support Dolby Vision, but it does support Dolby Vision, um, but it's currently not activated. But anyways, let's check out the settings that I have. So switching now to the settings. Boom, come on. Here it is. So it's now in game mode, of course. Backlight on 100, contrast 100, brightness 50, sharpness 10, color 55, the tint on zero. Let me go to advanced controls and everything is off, right? Color gamut is on auto, white balance. I have this one set on medium and everything is just standard. Going back, color management, I didn't touch that one actually. So, going back, any picture options, we got everything off, black level on auto, motion eye care off, and that's it. That's this is it for. Like a little auto That's it. This is everything that I have for uh, gaming, and everything is uh, looking pretty decent. Going back to normal TV watching, so SDR as they say. I want to go back to the more normal TV. Okay, this is normal TV, right? Nothing very special, but the colors are looking really good, actually, right? So let's check out my settings here. These are my settings. Standard user. And the backlight is on 80, contrast on 100, brightness at 44, sharpness at 23, color 58, the tint on 0, color temperature C20, advanced controls. Well, Let's go back to color temperature, by the way. Okay. Advanced controls, dynamic contrast off, dynamic color off, color gamut white, super resolution off, gamma medium. Picture options, noise reduction off, everything is off, black level low. And I have all these things off because when those things are on, it will really have a very artificial look that I don't really like. Right, so those are the settings that I have, but when it comes down to HDR, things will change, of course. So let's go to YouTube and check that little footage again. Here at, here at the above section, you'll see again that it's then switched to HDR. Let's wait for the commercial to, till it's done. I'm just going to show you this is like real, you know, how things are working in real life without too many cuts. So here at the bath, HLG HDR. So come here, I'm gonna pause it. Let's pause it here at this. Looks pretty good, right? But again, it's not black black. You do see a little bit of that vertical banding. That is something that I personally don't like, but when you are watching a movie it's not very present but if you are somebody like me that is very um, like you can see it clearly or f sensitive to it then you can see it right so for HDR HLG settings I have it on filmmaker mode in here you've got the backlight at 100 contrast 100 brightness at 50 sharpness at 10 color at 50 tint at 0 advanced controls we got that everything off Color gamut at auto, gamma is 2.2 by the way. White balance is on warm too. This is really a personal thingy, 
Um, for some, I like it on medium, but sometimes a little bit too. Like, I, as you see here, the skin tones, I like it a little bit more warmer. This is almost green actually, so I'm gonna switch it to warm one. And that's about it. Picture options, we got here everything off. So that is how I, this is, these are my settings and I think these settings are looking pretty, pretty good uh, and get the best out of this TV. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about these settings and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye bye.